All right, everybody, so welcome to the new year. It is 2018, and we still have our Christmas lights. I just realized. <laughs> Damn it. For those of y'all who are new and don't know, I came out a couple years ago and even before I came out, I was dating guys and I had a really serious boyfriend for a while, for a couple years, two or three years, and between him and Alistair, my now husband, I dated a good few dudes in between. Um, and every time I would enter into a new relationship, whether it was a long time or just like a week long, I always entered into it pretty much preferring that it be a monogamous relationship and knowing that I wasn't gonna be in a relationship that was an open relationship. So when I met Alistair and he and I started talking and we before we started dating even, we, we knew that he, we were both on the same page when it comes to monogamy. He and I pretty much think in the same way when it comes to that. We're both too damn jealous to be in an open relationship. I know for myself, <laughs> And he's the same damn way, so give him shit too, but if I even, like, think about him with anybody from his past, like, if I think about him having hooked up with anybody else, I get insanely jealous. Pretty, pretty damn jealous. I don't take it out on him because it's irrational, but I do get jealous. We're on the same page in regards to our marriage and how we want it to be. The other day, I got a message on Instagram that said, You two are just wasting your time and are foolish. I'm sorry to be blunt. You will want to step outside of marriage because you will be sexually unhappy. Give open relationships a try and chance and do not shoot them down. You know, this ain't the first time that I've received messages like that or that I've gotten comments about. And, you know, it's pretty much every video that we're in. At least, at least a couple people say, um... Oh, you're monogamous. It's not. It's not gonna last. Monogamy doesn't work. I I really started thinking about monogamy and about open relationships, and I realized that throughout my videos, I've sort of put down. Well, I haven't really put down open relationships. I've never really talked shit about them. I've always said that you do what you want to do in your own life. But I've always been a champion for monogamous relationships and saying that monogamous relationships are pretty much the only way to go. It's that way or the highway in my own life. And I haven't really, I've realized that I haven't really been open-minded when it comes to open relationships or, you know, anything else outside of monogamy. So monogamy is for us, and let me know if this is the same for y'all, uh, monogamy is security. I know that when we come home to each other every day that there's nobody else in the mix. There's no other complications. So don't give me shit for this, but, you know, in the comment section, I notice, and even in messages, I notice more people who are on the side of monogamy and it's like, monogamy is the way to go. Most of those people are young and they are going into their first relationships and they're maybe a year into their first relationship. The older people, and not all older people, are the ones who tell me that open relationships are the way to go instead of a monogamy. And this got me thinking, is it because of experience? Because these older generations, obviously they they have longevity to their relationships. And I'm talking about the ones who have longer relationships. They have longevity to their relationships and it could it be because they have been in open relationships, they've decided that monogamy doesn't really work. But that's not always how it is. There are, a lot of, there are still a lot of older people who tell me that, you know, they've been with their partner for however many years and it has just been them and it has worked perfect, so. Monogamy takes a lot of work and I was never ignorant to that, I know that. Now, when you think about that, you know, first year it's gonna be fine, second year will be fine, third year might be fine, but like 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line, things might get tiring, you know? I'm not gonna say they absolutely will, but I do believe that, you know, it takes a lot of work to keep the spark and to keep the spice in a relationship and, and in the bedroom particularly because if, if you're with one person, one partner this entire lifetime, it can get a little bland, it might get a little dull because it is just this one person. You know their body up and down, you, you've seen it day in, day out, and I don't know, you might, everybody, everybody, everybody has needs urges, desires, passions, and if those needs, urges, desires, passions are not met, this can cause for, for some strain in the relationship, and then that person might step out of the relationship, and because they don't have permission to step out of the relationship, it's cheating, and cheating obviously leads to hurt, betrayal, 
sadness, anger. Now, open relationships. If you're in an open relationship and you and your partner have decided that open relationships work for you, it's the secret to success, the secret to longevity, and you, you know, say that other people can come into your marriage or your relationship, could that in turn save you from that hurt and that heartbreak? In an open relationship, what I've gathered, um, people have guidelines, they have parameters that both partners have to stick to. Say me and Alistair were in an open relationship, I would have to know who he's with, who he's going to have sex with, um, when they're going to have sex, how they're going to have sex. I would, <laughs> I'd want to know all the fucking details about him and this hose little trust that they're going to go on. Um, I don't know if trust is the right word. Uh, I might not. probably shouldn't say that. However, and I guarantee with some open relationships, this is the case. And if this is the case, I want y'all, if you're comfortable with it, to comment down below and let me know your experience because I really want to get into this and talk about this, but I don't have any examples. Two people enter into an open relationship that works for them. They decide it works for them. There are still couples who one partner maybe says, well, okay, well, I'm in an open relationship and starts to wander a little bit. Even being in an open relationship, they wander because they're going outside of those guidelines. They're going outside of those parameters. They are being secretive. Maybe they go and hook up with that person once, and then they're like, well, I'm in an open relationship, it's fine. Then they go and hook up with them again and again, and maybe they decide, well, maybe I like this person. Maybe I shouldn't be in this relationship, or maybe relationships aren't for me. That's when things start to get sticky and start to get in some really bad territory. And in the same territory, that you can find yourself in with a monogamous relationship. See, these these can go hand in hand. You've thought that because you're in an open relationship, you can, th th this is fine. This that you're doing with this other person is fine. But if your partner don't know about it, if your partner ain't comfortable with it, it's not a good deal because you're still gonna cause the same hurt, sadness, pain, and heartbreak in your partner that you would have if you were in a monogamous relationship and you stepped out without, um, <laughs> without permission. So what works with monogamous relationships and what works with open relationships is, is primarily one thing, and that is communication. That is knowing that you and your partner or partners, I know that polyamory is, <laughs> polyamory is out there. You have to be on the same page in regards to what kind of relationship y'all are in. You have to, I have to know what Alistair really feels and how he feels and he has to be okay sharing with me how he feels. If he wants to be in an open relationship, I need to make it comfortable for him to let me know that because if he decides to just keep it from me and it's just festering up inside of him and then he steps out on me, I'm going to be hurt. That's, you know, that's why Alistair and I have conversations like that. Like, I know there's going to be people in the comments that are like, they are already, you know, they're not even a year into their marriage and they're already talking about, um, monogamy and open relationships? Well, no, it's <laughs> it's not a negative thing. We should be talking about that and we should check in on each other and say, hey, is this still working for you? This is still working for me. Is it working for you? Yeah, okay, good, we're golden. Relationships might not even work for you. So you gotta be able to let each other know, hey, this relationship ain't working for me. I decided I'm not a relationship guy and that I probably shouldn't be in one because I don't want to hurt your feelings. I know that I put, um, you know, me and Alistair's life out here for everybody to see, but it gives y'all license to comment on it. It gives y'all license to state your opinions, but it does not give anybody license to tell us what to do and tell us that what we are doing is not working. You don't know that. You don't know that, and I think everybody needs to stay in their own lane, stay in your own relationship. You don't have a relationship, you know, have fun. Go sleep around, be safe. Sleep around and <laughs> just have fun. Worry about yourself. Worry about your damn self. Everybody, you do you F the rest, all right? All right, this video's gone on way too long. I'm gonna have a shitty time editing it. Cause I just, <laughs> y'all. So when I make videos, I have a little, not a script, but I have bullet points so I can keep myself on track. And I still went off topic. Fuck me, right? Happy 2018. Same year, same Zek. Next week, AZB5 starts, a new season of vlogs. And at the same time that I put this video out, Alistair's very first video on his very own channel will also be out. It is called Alistair Reviews It. And he's just reviewing movies, books, all of that. He's trying to break into booktube, so that's... <laughs> He's been talking about it nonstop, so I had to build baby boy a desk and all that. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great 
day, weekend.